So what's up guys? Uh, I just want to start out this video real quick by saying this video is actually filmed over the course of like three weeks and uh, the beginning footage I actually filmed with my new camera and then at the end I filmed it with my phone so if you see a difference in quality that's why. But uh, regardless I hope you enjoy the video so let's get to it. So you might be asking what's the plan for today? What actually are you doing? Well, the answer to that is my one good friend's birthday is actually coming up and she's been a really good friend of mine for a very long time. I'm going to show you how I'm going to make her her customized, well, handmade uh, birthday gift. So the first step to this project is I'm going to take a good piece of wood here, kind of dirty, you want to make it nice and smooth, get all this dirt off so it looks really good so we can continue on to the next step and in order to do that, we're going to sand it off. So let's get started. Now you can see the difference. Sanded, not sanded. That's what we want and that's what we're going to get. So let's finish up. Alright, so we're back inside now and the reason for that is now that our wood is all sanded, it's time to put our design onto it. And in order to do that, I printed out the image that I got a needle and I put down the template of the designs and I basically just went around the outline and it put like a thin cut into the wood and if any of you know my friend like I do you know that she loves the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit so that's what our design is going to be so I'm going to start outlining everything with the needle right now Some of you might ask why I'm laying down and doing this. It's a setting a table or something. But it's easier for my long ass arms to be rested and it's more precision for me. So it's easier to do the etching. So I don't want to hear it. This is just to get like a temporary outline and then I'll go over it with pencil so I can actually see where I'm supposed to do this. And I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you the next step. The next step is to actually burn the uh, design into the wood. That's the plan. And I'm probably gonna be here for another two hours etching this in. I'll catch you when I'm done here. This is gonna take a long time. Bye. My chest hurts from laying on the ground so long. Oh my God. It's gonna be worth it though. Right now is when I'm Snapchatting you. <laughs> I just said if you don't like it, I'm keeping this for myself because honestly, it's going to turn out good, so you best be liking this. So as you just saw, I finished etching in the words for the design. Now I have to start the actual design below the words, which is like the main image. And you might ask, like, why is why am I even filming a video about doing this? Like, isn't your channel mainly about cars and stuff? Yes, but working on cars and doing so, I learned to uh, do other stuff working with my hands. And this is one of the things I figured I'd like to start trying. And I'm having fun with it, so why not try to shoot a video with it and have fun with it? Never know what you're going to enjoy. And try new things. You never know what you're going to like. Just finished etching in the main design of the whole thing, so basically it's all done. Now that it's all etched in, I'm going to trace over with a pencil to get an outline, and then after that, then we can start burning it in. Everything traced out on the wood, and now it's time to do the final step on it and actually 
start burning in the designs. So let's start it up. <laughs> You're an a hole. Man, I love this tripod. Come on, you ass. Pick something. Put it. Is there anyone you got? Don't do that. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna plug this thing in and it's just gonna like blow up in my hand or catch on fire. I was actually hoping it warms up. No, thanks, now you're going in my shot. Don't touch it, it's probably warm already. <laughs> That's definitely going in the video. That's probably going to be the most entertaining thing of the whole video. Yeah. Oh man, that thing is getting warm. Should have got a G7X. What is? This. That it's like burning your... That, that thing's probably going to cause a fire or something. It's supposed to burn the wood. I know, well it's burning the plastic. I shouldn't have set it down like that. To burn the wood, I think you got to burn the plastic. Leave it open. Put your head in the door. I'm going to close it. So now you stop? Want me to smack you? Who? Him. What did I do? Put your head in the door. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> Put my head in the door. <laughs> so he's fanning out the room because I plugged this thing in and it started smelling like what is what does it smell like? Burning plastic. Burning plastic. So I got a different one, so I'm gonna try this one. At least this one doesn't look like it's from the twenties. So it doesn't stink like the other one. Tell me if you think it smells. I don't think it smells like heat. It smells like nothing. It smells like nothing. Touch it to your skin and see what happens. Touch it to my skin and see. Yeah. This is taking forever because I've literally got to like point. <laughs> I literally got to like point each dot for it to burn. Put it on here and look at this. Look. That's how I got to do the whole thing. Point, burn. Point, burn. See, see how it's dark? I'm gonna be here a while. You best be appreciating this. Thanks Maureen for uh, holding the camera. You're welcome, crust. <laughs>
sings with us. I think I'm way behind on this video, but as you can see, the design is now done. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I actually debated keeping it for myself, but I'm not going to do that. But uh, I'm definitely going to have to make more of these. I mean, this thing turned out awesome. And um, I'm not sure if I said this, but the reason why I decided to make this was because I actually saw this idea online, like the design, but it wasn't even like the size of a full piece of paper. And I emailed the company that made them. And they weren't even engraved into the wood or burned or anything like that. It was actually printed on top of the wood. And I thought, like, I could make that 10 times better than it is. I mean, th this isn't going to go anywhere. I mean, you can hear that. Like, it it's in there for good. It's not like it's just written on there with a pen that's going to fade over time. I mean, this thing's going to last. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I can't complain about it. So I hope she likes it. <laughs> I, I think... Total design time for the uh, etching, the drawing, and then burning it in. It took me like eight and a half hours. So the very last step to it is now to um, put on some wall mounts on the back of it so it can get hung on the wall. So, And then we'll update you with how Michaela likes it. So let's get the wall mounts put on, and then we'll jump to whenever I get the chance to give it to her. So what's up guys, a uh, slight change to this video. I'm actually gonna end this one here with uh, how I made the gift and then the next video will be Michaela's reaction to it and how she likes it. So um, I decided to break it up into two parts just because the video would have been too long and I wanted to include everything. So I hope you guys can understand that. So uh, be sure to subscribe to see the next video of how Michaela reacts to her gift and it, it's a really good one. I like how that video turned out. So as usual, always accelerate and don't look back. We'll catch you next time. So I'm opening it right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, I told you! <laughs> Should I look at it? It doesn't matter, it's still recording. I'll just